Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is The Supply Junkie. In this video, I am going to do my daily layout in my Hobonichi A6. This is the original and I have the Evec. And I haven't gone and wrote in what I did today, but it's a whole lot of, honestly, stuff for our guinea pigs. We were trying to, like I said in other videos, design them a new cage and um, order their feed and everything online to save some money. I was actually surprised how much money. Okay, what did I... Oh, I have to grab... One of them I forgot to put... The days of the week and this one I forgot to put the day dots so I will hand write those ones in too okay now I want to start out with I remember in this one after doing the um the cousin, start off with the the times first and then do the badamashi. Let's see. We are going to do this one. And I believe this one I'm going to use my G2, my brown, golden brown G2. And I think what I did is I ended up, when I was editing these, I deleted a whole page and I ended up putting part of this kit onto my weekly kit and I realized it that oh, okay I just put two kits together but it that's why I had a gap it's because I took off the dates and then the uh, numbers off of the kit so we will do 13 so I'll have to fix that for next week. And I think I'm going to go through it real quick. Just put these times down. And then I will be back with the washi. There we go. So now I know what colors I kind of want to match up to them. I think I'm going to do the animals on this one. And this planner I use kind of keep track of my, my hobbies. So what books I'm reading, what um, kits I'm making, my YouTube videos, what painting I'm working on, that kind of stuff. I put into here and so I'll have some of my regular planner my my daily stuff in there so that I know if I want to plan on a new project I can't 
plan at certain times of the day. Because as much as I would love to just do my hobbies all the time, it doesn't work out like that. I have to actually adult. But wasn't it so much easier when we were kids and we didn't have to adult all the time, huh? And it's so funny. It's like my younger kids, I hear them, oh, I can't wait till I'm an adult. And I'm like, yes. Yes, you can wait. And now that I have a daughter who's turning 19, she's not like in the adulting world. She is realizing all the responsibility is just not as fun as she thought it was. But she's a good kid. She does really good. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And I put that one on super crooked. Yep, I will do this one. I have cricket cricket. Now I'm undecided on the paper. Which of these papers I like better are the sticker sheets that I use. Like the online labels or the rock, paper, scissors. So I think I'll have to use the rock, paper, scissors more and decide which one I like better. And if you guys um, make your own kits, let me know down below what sticker paper you prefer. Maybe there's one I haven't tried yet. I like the removable mat because I do put stickers on Cricut on a regular basis. So I like to be able to lift them easier without ripping up the whole planner. And with this paper being so thin, um, you can easily rip it up. Oh, yep, I did. I forgot. My 
little dog is just walking around being bossy. He doesn't know what he wants. But he'll whine until you stand up and then he just steals your spot. But I've spent the day through the day of, okay, do you want water? Okay, do you want outside? Okay, he just wants to, to complain. So I'm not sure, I can hear him out there. I'm not sure which kid he's complaining at, but he probably wants their spot on the couch. Because he is just that kind of brat. He is bossy and sassy and a pain in the rear, but we love him. And if you can hear, very bossy. Very, very bossy. What are you doing, Chewy? Come here. Come here, old man. Okay, so that is what I have right now. And then put in my times here that I can't really plan anything. And this has been a good tracker of just kind of my projects, what I've gotten done. I think um, at the end of the year, it'll be a nice recap of everything, all my artwork, everything that I get done. And then Friday and Saturday. So some of these are kind of repetitive, but when I try to plan out my week, when these are in here, um, I already know I can't if I say, oh, I'm going to work on my painting tomorrow, it's easy for me to let him say, well, you know, I got this and this and this going on, so I can't do that at this time. Okay, and then Wednesday, um, I do have to go grocery shopping, so I'm going to block that time out right there and I think that's all I have to block out on those days yeah that's all I have to block out on those days and so I can go through and figure out the days that I want to film and paint and and on Wednesday, I'm going to put this to go, and I will have to go Winco and Costco. I think I'll do the online order pickup for Myers. Okay, I think that is all that I have to put in here for right now. So next I will be back with my weekly, which I use for my weekly budget. And until then, you guys have a good one. Bye. Okay guys, I'm back for a second because I just found my day covers when I was going to get my weekly kit. And so I had them all along, so I just messed up the one. I don't know now that I wrote them in. Let's see. I might have wrote too big to use my own. might show a little bit the pin underneath it
now I got all my dates in and that is all I have for now so I will be back in a little bit but until then you guys have a good one bye